Okay. Uh, I guess um, most of you know me, or I know you. Um, I'm Robert Meyer, uh, Robby Duck for most of uh, the users. Um, I'm the website lead, uh, actually also on the council, FAMSCO and FAMA, and uh, I'm in Fedora World since 2010. Since 2005, I uh, was active locally with the local Italian community. Um, we <coughs> are going to talk about a council objective, uh, which is Mindshare. Uh, Mindshare is uh, a really new vision of um, outreach uh, contribution. And what a Mindshare aims to is uh, to improve uh, some of the aspects where we are failing, actually. So um, what I'd like to do is not to speak about too much about what we do well, but more where we are, where we can do better, not what we are going doing uh, worse. So let's start with, <coughs> with the good points. Uh, events. Ambassadors are organizing events very well. In some of in some regions, they are very active. Some other regions uh, lost activity in the last two years. Uh, APEC actually is totally inactive. I wouldn't say totally, but uh, almost inactive. They are not meeting. Uh, they are not meeting anymore in IRC. Uh, so they are not sharing any information. There is nothing which goes out to the to the ambassadors, uh, and I see it as a great um, problem <coughs> if an ambassador there want to organize m uh, an event nowadays. Um, the regional budget process is working. It works still since uh, our ambassador program uh, was born in the. 10 years ago. Um, budget Next has changed a, a little bit <coughs> how this budget is handled and mm, unfortunately only half, if not more, if not less, ambassadors are aware of, of this uh, new handling of the budget. Um, this is something probably which Brian could uh, speak a little more about. Uh, design and web mm, are two very small teams. They are doing a huge work and we are just a few people. So I think both teams have not more than 10 active contributors. Uh, although end users get in touch first probably with the web. And on the web you see websites, applications and many, many things design produced. Um, our marketing. <coughs> is doing a great job with the Fedora magazine. It's very active. Uh, the Fedora magazine is something end users appreciate very much. Uh, so mm, it's active. Uh, Justin, Paul. Hmm? Yeah. Um, I, I've put it under the same umbrella, yeah, on the same wing, but because it's... Uh, uh, Justin and Paul are doing great work in Fedora Magazine, Ryan too, which is not here, but uh, it's also just three people <coughs> who are doing the job there. Talking points are very, very useful, but are not used or almost not used uh, by ambassadors. Some ambassadors are even not aware about the existing of talking points, and uh, so mm, I see this as a, another problem. We could improve. Docs, yeah, <laughs> we have docs. <laughs> That's the only positive thing I think. Um, since last year, two years ago, we had a, a one-man show in docs, more or less, three, two, <laughs> three, three people. Nowadays, it's uh, there's a revolution in the docs team, and we should have better docs uh, in an easier way available for the end users and uh, even <coughs> translated in in all languages, or some of them. The new tool in the new world is not going to make the same translation, although we're going to have a translation. Uh-huh. 
Okay. So these are more or less the teams uh, which I see as outreach teams and what they are doing, <coughs> what they are doing well. What's going wrong? So uh <coughs> all the pros, <coughs> the, the, the good points are done by the single teams. There's no communication between teams. Uh, ambassadors are doing their own stuff. Marketing is doing its own stuff. Design. You need to file a ticket if you want something from design. There's no collaboration between web and design, really, uh, or from ambassadors and design. Marketing, more or less, uh, is not mm, giving any inputs anymore to ambassadors, as we had we were used to uh, seven, eight years ago, uh, and. A, com a better communication would really help to to make things better here. Best practices is a uh, consequence of the communications. Some teams or regions are doing very well. There are nice ideas from local communities or, lo or, or single countries uh, or even single persons we could share and uh, use also in other teams, not only in other teams, in other regions, wherever. and. Uh, they are just isolated <laughs> in, in, the, in, the, in the place where the, the idea came from, but they are not shared at all. So uh, Mindshare could help to share these uh, best practices and to make us improve our uh, contributions. Reporting, <coughs> that's related to the budget. Budget Next is, isn't handled anymore by FAMSCO. Regional budget are working differently than, than the last years. Uh, nowadays, the council has the whole budget in his hands. Um, Brian is responsible for that, but we need reporting if you want to uh, get more budget or more uh, sources for our not our not only for our events, but also for our teams to help them to uh, improve, to grow up, and to make more contribu contributions. <coughs> marketing, marketing is totally disconnected. Uh, I said it with ambassadors, talking points are just there. Some ambassadors use them, most of them don't use them. Uh, Fedora magazine has split off, so uh, it's not another magazine, another marketing wing, which, uh, yes, it's okay. Uh, but marketing could really drive uh, not only ambassadors, but, uh, but also the other outreach teams. So mm, the idea could be, we have an event, uh, we need to pass this message, uh, we want to send there an ambassador, and we need uh, flyers, uh, of this kind of flyers, we need a totem, we need um, leaves or special stickers for Python guys, and then we can uh, organize that with the single teams. Uh, marketing now is hasn't this uh, job anymore. Uh, last but not least, um, I said I founded the uh, Italian community, and from the Italian community came out many contributors. Some already gone away, but uh, we had seven, eight seven, eight new contributors coming out from a local community. Uh, and I remember it worked like this also in other countries, at least in Europe. I'm not sure how it worked in other regions, like North America or uh, APEC. I'm sure the same mm, strategy could be applied in South America. Um, so we never supported, really supported local communities. It would be a good idea, I think, to support them with tools or just with um, uh, web stuff or whatever they could use to uh, build up a local community. AskFedoraProject.org is a first step. It's available in Spanish. Uh, you can ask for other languages, but um, in my eyes, it's not enough. So uh, if there is someone in a country who, who wants to set up a local community in his language, I could he should be <coughs> my helped out and uh, 
we should make available some tools or whatever statistics or um, yeah, applications or uh, to help them to grow up uh, a community, a community faster than 10 years ago. So I did, uh, yeah, this slide to show uh, the actual outreach situation. We have technical teams, which are pretty much working together. Infra, Relang, packaging has its own stuff, okay. But we have uh, working groups, uh, which are very uh, good, communicating very good with other teams. Uh, and then we have the outreach teams. Outreach teams are those teams uh, in, end in contact with end users. Uh, docs, come ups, uh, ambassadors, design and web, and marketing. Uh, I would exclude for now the localization teams because they are somewhat flying around also on technical teams and they are working on docs, on websites. So this could be something we, we can include later on. Uh, what the first thought is we should focus on the real outreach teams for now and then maybe include also localization. <coughs> this should then look like this. Um, I'm working in a websites team and we normally have to do all the important stuff the last two days before a release. Uh, and why is this happening? There's, a there's no communication with the technical teams uh, about release stuff, about news, about new uh, accepted features, uh, or maybe we are we are aware we are aware of about uh, an accepted future, and uh, it has been delayed to to the next release, and we are not aware of that. Just happened. So uh, communication not only between outreach teams, but also between technical and outreach teams. So this should be much cleaner than actually. Collaboration. <laughs> targets. <coughs> the Mindshare targets are communication. I would uh, set this on the first place. If we can start with a good communication, we have done half of the work. Um, collaboration between teams can be a key, a key for success. Can also um, be a best practice which can be shared by other teams, like technical teams. Best practices, we need uh, to find a way to share them. Uh, Brian started with uh, some thoughts, uh, posting uh, a good idea to the mailing list. Other re other regions or other people were replying to that, and uh, at least people were speaking about an idea. The same was for Federator. Federator was just an idea. Federator is nothing new, really new. We had this ten years ago, I think. We had a big. Uh, piece of paper and then we had a, s a slot inside and you could put your USB stick inside and uh, behind it there was a laptop. So the, the, the construction of all the thing was ready 10 years ago. Today it's very nice. You have this cool screen, touch screen where you can choose and uh, I see it as a good thing to start speaking with this person who is uh, getting the image and uh, this started on the mailing list and was accepted by almost all ambassadors or mm, I'm not sure about APEC but it was <coughs> there were many people in North America <coughs> which were happy about it uh, we did six of them last evening and uh, I think this is a good example to follow if you want to share best practices budget managing uh, yeah, uh, as I said, FAMSCO uh, doesn't handle the budget anymore, but most of the budget is dedicated to ambassadors, actually. 
So uh, collaborate, yeah, collaborating <coughs> with FAMS, co with, with Mindshare and the FK could help to not only get the methods through the uh, to the outreach teams with what we want to, but also create the right tools to get reporting, to get uh, the stuff we as council need to get to Red Hat at the end of the year and say, hey, we did this, this and this. Uh, for the next year, we need that. So uh, if we are able to do that, then probably our budget budget can rise again. Otherwise, I fear we need to to accept to have it like we have it actually, or even less. So <coughs> planning, event planning, with inputs from all groups. So uh, we had historically historically uh, fads regional feds where ambassadors planned their events for the upcoming year. They had uh, 10, 15 events planned for the whole year with uh, attendees, with uh, budget uh, proposals and so on. Uh, this is not useful anymore, I think. Uh, this has totally changed, but we still need to plan the events with the inputs from all teams. Why we should attend a meeting, uh, an event only because we attended it the last 10 years. Um, maybe it's more useful to get to, get to a Python study dedicated event or to a design event. We never sponsored, I think, um, Libre Graphics, right? F probably one, one year. last year in Libre Graphics, not Libre Office. Libre Graphics, uh, so we have just a few designers. Design could give us an input, hey, we want to attend this meeting and we need a designer there, speak about Fedora design spin or whatever. And then uh, marketing can say, okay, we want to send you there. Mindshare should help with that. Uh, we can provide flyers, we can provide um, tools for designers and make an interesting talk or booth and um, present us at this event as an interesting distribution. Otherwise, it's just, uh, we did this last year. Uh, okay, let's go there another time. And we can go also to, to the bar and drink a few beers and <laughs> it's more or less the same. <laughs> so that's uh, the main targets. Um, I. I know it's it's uh, there's so much to say about Mindshare, but uh, I would rather start small and then uh, when we go along with the with Mindshare, see where we can improve, what we need more, where we failed, then we can uh, leave that away, uh, step by step, uh, set it up, not think too many things at uh, the at the starting point and uh, yeah try just to uh, set the most uh, obvious things up in the most easiest way easiest way and uh, start from there and say okay we are aware we are not covering everything uh, but we want to cover that in the next six months 12 months 18 months uh, the goal is to be as effective as possible as outreach um, group uh, and to help really uh, our outreach teams to be effective again as we were uh, years ago. So, um, ambassadors, that is the main group probably we have inside Mindshare. It's the biggest group. We have actually uh, 719, if I remember right, ambassadors in our fast group. Um, hun we have 590 active ambassadors set as active in the fast account, which means the account is active. 
uh, from these 590 ambassadors, how many do you think are really active? I, I don't have an answer to that. I, I, I can just guess, and you can also just guess. Uh, ambassadors' activity is something you cannot really measure. Uh, people can stay at home and uh, talk to hundreds of people daily, but um, I think they need to get information from the Fedora world, from our magazine or from, from Pegur or whatever, and they need to log from time to time. So what we measure is just a fed message from a, from a person which log to one of our systems or write an, an email to the mailing list or say, hey, I have this event, uh, who can help me? is an activity for me and uh, this is an active person. How many people are attending uh, meetings? 30? 40 in all the world? How many do you have in North America, Justin? No, um, average attendees at uh, your ambassador meeting? 7, 8, 10? Yeah, same is more or less in EMEA. We have probably uh, between eight and ten. Okay, let's say twenty, both. Then we have the same situation in LATAM and APAC is no, there's n no meeting at all actually. So, uh, y yeah, but uh, the last one was cancelled again. Yeah. Yeah, um, attending a meeting doesn't mean you're active or not active. Uh, it's just an example uh, from these 600 people, we have uh, 40 around the world who go to our meetings. Uh, I think this is at least once a month you should show up and say, what's going on in Fedora? We have many news there. In just an hour you get a lot of information. And um, if you don't want to do that, you have the magazine, you have the com blog, you have a lot of information, but you, but apparently only a few ambassadors uh, are using this, this kind of uh, services. So um, I tend to say we have 100, 150 at maximum active ambassadors. So uh, the goal is not to clean that group up, but to, to understand which how many active people we should plan within Mindshare. So that's the reason why I was asking about uh, your thoughts. So um, Ambassadors are doing the stuff on, on its own. There's no input from marketing. There's, uh, even ambassadors are not asking for help. Uh, they just say, oh, we don't have DVDs this year. Uh, but no one of them says, uh, we need to plan DVDs. DVDs. We need to uh, do that in time, although FAMSCO was uh, trying to <laughs> advertise that in, uh, in, in, in the meetings. And uh, so it's not only uh, an input uh, missing, but also ambassadors are not asking what, the what they are needing, actually. Um, ambassadors also work per single region. There is no uh, exchange of ex ex experiences or activities between regions. And A does its own stuff since ever. Uh, EMEA also. We had discussions in the l in, in the past where people wanted to go to an important event in India from EMEA and we didn't know <laughs> who had to pay the for uh, for the f for the flight. Uh, so the activity is really a regional activity. We are just looking in our own garden and uh, what our neighbor is doing, we don't care too much about. Um, regions also work country-wise, at least in Europe. Maybe you can help me here, Justin. I'm not sure if uh, NA is working 
east and west coast wise or, or if you have some states or two or three states working together and others completely left out in the middle <laughs> yeah it's it's more or less the same in Europe we had in the past Germany and uh, France were the ac most active activities then there was Italy uh, with France and uh, lately uh, we have uh, Albania and Greece some people from Hungary but uh, Sultan uh, just communicated he was his trying to to get an uh, yeah uh, a time off of the project so um, what remains is uh, Albania and Greece so it's uh, really country wise it's not uh, always the same country it goes for two or three years and then it will be maybe uh, the Netherlands and, uh, and and Germany again who knows um, what I said before, the ambassadors are not applying at all the budget next process. So uh, when we talk about um, reporting, we did that in APAC uh, during the last FATCON together with uh, BEX. Most of them said, huh? Reports? Uh, I, I'm doing a blog post, yes. But that's not the report we need. So we need something more uh, effective or concrete not just a blog post uh, where we write uh, yes I attended this talk and it was nice and uh, I did a lot of stuff there I hacked I worked on, on docs or on or whatever um, but really <laughs> how many people came to this event uh, how many contacts we have uh, uh, was this a good idea would you repeat that uh, we should really create a template for that FAMSCO is uh, thinking about something like that. I think this is really a process which Einchair should, should care about. Um, inputs for marketing, again, and design are important. <coughs> so, uh, I'll go to this through this slide and through the next one and then we could maybe start a conversation or discussion about uh, some ideas because um, this is not something my chair is not something which we want to apply just we want to discuss it um, we need ideas we need inputs from other ambassadors we need uh, I just told talk to long-term contributors and almost got positive feedback so um, activities ambassadors should do is share experiences and best practices. I said it at least five times now. Uh, give local communities more importance. Not limit funding just to ambassadors. Some regions are still convinced budget is only for ambassadors. The budget is for any contributor we have. Uh, if, the, if he is a an ambassador, it's OK. But is, if he is a packager, and wants to give a talk in a specific event and this is useful for Fedora, then we should fund him. Uh, do not work region-wise anymore. We are one group and uh, not four subgroups. The regional stuff uh, is not working in localization. Even localization teams don't have regions. Ambassadors are the only group which has regions. So we would, wouldn't have regional budgets. We should just have a Fedora budget for the actual regional activity. And um, this would have many advantages, I think, uh, also in managing, managing the budget. Bex is uh, out now, but we, we could uh, hear the, the pros this would have. So. Uh, thinking regional is something which worked for many years. Uh, the fact that the, bad, that the budget now is on the council, uh, yeah, took away a bit the, the advantages which were 
uh, the most important ones. There are many others, so I, I'm aware we can't meet, we can't do a meeting, a global meeting. We should do regional meetings, or at least per continent or time zone or whatever. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to that now. Um, the structure should look like that. Uh, mind shares should absorb completely FEMSCO. FEMSCO uh, already uh, gave over most of the responsibilities to, to the regions. Uh, now FEMSCO has been, uh, also the, the budget has been uh, moved to council. So FEMSCO actually doesn't have really um, important responsibilities. So they are more admin administrative, they are related to mentoring, uh, but we have uh, a group for mentors, which is FAMA. It, it wasn't used for many years, uh, but seven, eight years ago, FAMA was an important person. It was a one person, a one man show, and uh, he had to do a lot of work. Why we don't use FAMA for our administrative activities? for ambassadors and uh, keep in mind share the real important things for outreach teams, ambassadors uh, included. So the idea should be like that. So we would have FASCO on, the w on one side for the technical teams, mind share for the outreach teams, and uh, in FAMA I would have mentors, admins, which are three persons now, not one, and treasurers. Yeah. Thought about that? I think the most important thing is uh, to think globally, not region-wise, uh, to imagine our activity as uh, shared with other outreach teams, uh, to improve uh, the message we are giving out to end users. But the most important impact is probably thinking without uh, a regional uh, division of the ambassador group. Yeah, I, I thought about treasurers uh, because FAMA could decide about the real, the, the minor events. So I, I, I'm thinking about release parties or we had uh, the, the budget, the um, uh, business cards, which were $3 and 80. Yeah, uh, s stuff like that can ha be handled directly by the treasurers or should be handled directly by FAMA. I mean, uh, if FAMA is, is, is unsure or needs the input from uh, Mindshare, uh, they need to do that. Uh, I just, uh, uh, the left arm or the right arm of uh, Mindshare and should take over the administrative things. So budget until, I'm not sure, $200, $250 or, or, or whatever. I wouldn't, I wouldn't set uh, uh, a limit on, on, on a specific um, amount of money here. What does it represent? Uh, it should be um, uh, a committee or a group uh, which uh, works together with all outreach teams, not just ambassadors, to get out uh, the Fedora message more effectively to end users. Sorry, I, I don't hear you. No. It's a model we are working on. It's a council objective. So uh, council really wants to make that happen in some way. It's not that uh, this is the 
the law and uh, we need to follow that, we can discuss it, but more or less we should rely on, on, on this structure. Yes? Yes. Yes. Yes, it, it fits. Yes. Yeah, the, the you mean the structure of, of mind chair? How it should look like? Uh, I was thinking about something like that. So uh, mind chair should be similar to the council. Uh, we have one chair for the council. It's the project leader. For mind chair is our is the F cake. Um, we should have two appointed ambassadors. Design and web are small groups, so I think they can share uh, a seat. Uh, docs, which are important for end users, because people are looking for docs. Uh, even better if they are translated. Uh, marketing should have an appointed seat. Come ups. Uh, on come ups, I want to say something uh, after that. Uh, and we should have also two elected seat seats. Why not uh, have elected seats which the community elects without need to, to be in a group or whatever, just community. End users should be able to vote for anyone to represent them in the, in the mind chair. Yeah, I, I, I think it's similar to localization. Probably in a final model, uh, we will have a diversity, although we have a diversity seat on the uh, seat on the council. Um, and we could also think about uh, localization representative in the in my chair, yes. I see them on the same on the same way. Yes. This is not an exhaustive list. Mm. This is just how the actual humans who get votes are selected. Everyone is invited to have input. There's no goal of excluding any out of the No. Is what I'm hearing. So diversity would certainly be part of the group I consider that as a community, et cetera. The, the goal here is to align all of these groups around the process. So that, for example, when you have a diversity event, it is supporting the rest of the Doris yeah. We could also think about splitting just the ambassador seats in one ambassador which is in the diversity team and another one. Uh, I mean, uh, the goal is not having uh, someone on a seat. The goal is we need to uh, collaborate between the outreach teams and get the message out. If we need a seat, we, c we, c we, can, we can set up a seat, this is not a problem. Um, it's just we need to be uh, not, not pair with uh, nine people or eleven or, or seven. So, uh, yes, right, yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. Justin. This one?
Yes? So one thing I've been thinking about is that I actually kind of, not in outreach, but I kind of just look underneath that at users, like the wider group of Fedora people who are like, like the Fedora support IRC channels. I think that's ways that we can unify some of the other parts of our project that are kind of isolated and by themselves. Where I'm thinking like the town of Fedora IRC channel for support. And we also have this Fedora Telegram group Yeah, uh, I, th I think mm, you spoke about IRC channels and Telegram, which are mostly for uh, contributors, right? So I don't see end users in our Telegram group. I don't see this as a negative thing. So uh, th the goal we have is to speak effectively to the contributors or end users. It's almost the same. Contributors are also users, and end users could become contributors. So uh, I think within the mind share, this could be handled really by come ups. Uh, uh, come ups is, uh, in my eyes, something. Uh, which is um, present in any company. We have, you have operations, we have sales and operations and marketing. Uh, community operations is something which should care about communication. So Telegram and IRC is about communication. Uh, come ups already does the com block, which is communication, one way communication outside. Uh, wh while IRC and are two ways, uh, and uh, come ups could all could, if we have the people and the main force, uh, also drive c communication between technical teams and outreach teams because we we really don't want to do our own stuff. Uh, we rely always on 
releases, uh, features, uh, atomic working group, uh, whatever. Uh, all of them have messages. ComOps could help to get these messages and to bring them to Mindshare or the marketing. And then we can figure out a strategy how to communicate them as best as possible. Not only during events, but also with uh, single or, or mailing or, or com block activities or uh, articles on the magazi magazine. I, f I, I saw many end users are reading the magazine. So the articles we have there are very useful. Uh, I see mm, many new people in the IRC channel locked always now. So uh, this is probably the result of the latest, or we had uh, this article three times now, or two times about Z and uh, C, the, the, the bouncer. So uh, what you are saying is, is, is something which is the, the result we, 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 we should go to, yes, uh, or the, the, the goal, the, the, the target, yeah. <laughs> Um the budget uh yeah the budget now is on the council the res the person who is responsible for the budget is f cake as the f cake is within the uh mind share initiative um we could uh handle part of the regional budget or al almost all the regional budget plus budget which the council ho held uh, for special events. Actually we have, if you have read the strategy article from Matthew Miller, you uh, will have, you will know the council has, has still money for uh, specific events. If you we have a good plan, if we have a target, if we have a hopeful an output of this event, then the council can sponsor it. They can fund an event. Uh, it's not that. Uh, it's not like people uh, got the message, "Hey, they cut the budget about sixty percent now, and we can't do any events anymore." Uh, that's not the truth. We have the same budget as last year. Having the F cake within Mindshare could help to bring this message better to ambassadors, not only to ambassadors, but to all the regions and organize events which are very really useful for, for Fedora. And then we can ask through the F cake uh, the council to for uh, extra funding or, or funding special events where we, we want to be present. Uh, country or local events can be approved by FAMA, as I said before. This is release parties, Linux days we have in Italy in November. Uh, they are very small. There are many events, but uh, they are too small to be handled by Mindshare. Um, if Pharma thinks there's a Mindshare impact or uh, they expect this uh, a specific event to have an impact on design or marketing, they can, they should, they need to uh, stand up and say, hey, Mindshare, we have this event. We have... Uh, the treasurer is aware about the local event. Um, can we get inputs from marketing to make this event better as the local community is uh, organizing? And then uh, if they feel it, it needs more discussion, they will bring this uh, to my show, we'll decide about it. Storytellers, yes, uh, we still have them. Storytellers, uh, they really should uh, uh, be driven in, in some way. Uh, I wrote by ComOps, but they need a guideline to to understand what they need to do. Actually, yes, they are storytellers. They need to to collect the reports, right? Uh, but they don't know how to do that. Actually, they don't have a guideline. They don't know what a report should contain. They don't have a template. They they don't have anything actually. That's why we don't we don't have reports probably. So if we get we give uh, inputs and tools to the ambassadors, then we will get results. Otherwise, uh, all we do the own stuff. The yes, <laughs> as for the last two years, and we are we are going towards uh, nothing at the end because we we don't communicate 
the right message outside. We are present at events, we have a booth, uh, we do very well as ambassadors, so the ambassadors who are present at, at events actually are, are great guys and uh, they, they make great events normally without having any support, any um, a real support from marketing, design or whatever to, to help them to be even better. So that's my understanding what this happened actually. So, mm, I'm around since many years and when I came to Fedora Ambassadors Group was uh, really a good group and it was working uh, a lot. We, we had people traveling around almost <laughs> the whole year and uh, we had great events and big events with 1,000, 2,000 attendees, special in, in Germany or uh, and nowadays we, we have one or two events in Germany because we don't have uh, a community there anymore. I tried to resume something something more for the other outreach teams, design and web. Uh, yeah, it's more or less uh, what I said already. Um, I don't know what to say about docs. <laughs> it's probably <m> Brian <laughs> is the right person to that. Uh, and yes, uh, that's more or less my vision of how Mindshare should work. Oh. What I'd like to, to know now is what you think about it. <laughs> oh, they, fell, they fell all asleep. <laughs> Yeah, we need. We still need to figure out how to meet, how to uh, file requests or swags or whatever. Swags is another point which can be uh, handled differently. We know actually we, we produce swags in every region. Uh, we can make bigger orders. We can uh, share uh, swags. We can, but we should. Uh, same as for the federators, set up an inventory. We had this years ago. Who has the totem? And if I need uh, to to have the federator, I need just I just have to go to the website and see. Yes, he has it. He's uh, there's the contact, and I can call him. So on the wiki, we we had this on Fedora hosted uh, time ago, but I, I would not care about stickers and 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 DVDs and uh, yeah. We even had yeah, this guy has 40 stickers left and 70 uh, case badges and whatever. <laughs> so just the hardware, table closers, uh, totem. Uh, you have two boxes, I think, in NA, right? Yeah, yeah. The event boxes. Uh, we had this uh, also in, in Europe. Uh, every box had also a laptop inside. Time ago, so yeah, right, and this. We could substitute that with a federator inside, so it could be. It could be. I mean, any idea is welcome, and if you can improve. Right. Nothing at all. Correct. 
I brought that up um, three years ago, four years ago with Yaroslav <laughs> and said, do we need release readiness meetings? It's just saying, okay, 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 then let's go. Uh, but in the end, uh, websites had to do still stuff. Uh, they were not aware of changes uh, of the cloud and uh, then Adam Miller shows up and say, hey, why don't you have this and this and this and this on the website? And I had 24 hours to fix that. So uh, the release readiness meeting should be should happen in another way, yes. Uh -huh. And Mindshare should work on that, or, or better. Mindshare and driven by comops, because uh, I would see that a co as a comops activity, because it's just communication, and the release readiness meeting. I don't need really a meeting to do that. Yes, actually, uh, mm, I can speak for the websites. I get my information through two personal connections from Relang, was then is saying, hey, this has changed and that. I wasn't aware about, uh, about, uh, aware about that. The same for cloud or whatever. It was uh, Adam or Dusty now who, who, is, uh, who are giving me a great hand to, to, to be up to date. I, I guess and I fear the same happens to other teams. Um, speaking about websites because I have the direct experience but uh, what about docs? I mean, I mean I can fix something in 24 hours docs I think it, it would be uh, mm, much more difficult and the same is uh, we have a readiness meeting on Thursday uh, but uh, before Monday we have, we have no release announcement we have nothing uh, and it's it's always on the last on the very last second. Can you review it? <laughs> no, right? Uh, we we should have all these informations before. Same for the talking points. Uh, then ambassadors can say, oh, okay, talking points uh, is about uh, is the new spin. But I'm not aware about this new spin. I, I'm I know, don't know anything about Python Classroom. So uh, then ambassadors during the readiness meeting can say, no, we are not ready. We we don't have the information uh, which we need. So it's, it's
it all probably to do before the the, 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 the date of the readiness meeting. So we are now uh, over time. <laughs> if you have any questions or feedback, so I'm I'm happy to speak with uh, with you about uh, your thoughts or, or, or ideas. That's a good question. Um, I don't have an answer now, <laughs> but we should think about uh, uh, something where uh, not the whole world should discuss on, like the ambassador mailing list or whatever, because it's not just about ambassadors, it's on a higher level. Um, Yeah, uh, <coughs> for whom? I, I would it seem more useful if um, we set up a page where we show what Mindshare should look about, like a wiki page or whatever, and then um, accept discussions about single topics, not just speak around, because if uh, we have hundreds of discussions, we will never start with, with Mindshare. So m uh, my feeling is that I it's better if we discuss. council discuss. Yeah, um, if we want to start this, we need uh, to file a proposal to the council anyway, so uh, no, council discuss. Uh, maybe I should set up a wiki page and then send it to the council discuss list and then we can open a discussion there. Council ticket? I would I would not uh, choose the FAMS core tickets. Sorry? Ah. Then we will have thousands of no. <laughs> Let's see how to handle that. Council discussion is, is, I think, a good idea. Thank you for coming. <laughs>